Hey guys, all right, we're gonna do phonics lesson 131. So you need to find worksheet 131. And you also need to grab the book Three Rich Sheep because we're gonna do both of those today. All right, here we go. Okay, now before we get started, just like the last two days, we are going to practice substituting sounds in some words. So I'm gonna say a word, you're gonna repeat it, and then I'm gonna ask you to change one of the sounds in the word to make a new word. Okay, so first word I want you to say is say the word mad. Mad, now change the M to an S. So instead of mad, you have sad. Good, good, how about fit? Say the word fit, then change the F sound to the S sound. So instead of fit, you have Sit, good, all right, how about say kiss, change the k to m. So if, instead of kiss, you change it to m, miss, good. How about say the word wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now change the w sound to a, the j sound. So instead of wiggle, you have jiggle, good. Two more, how about Say the word tan. Tan, now change the t to m. Instead of tan, you have man, good, one more. Say the word pat. Pat, change the p to r. Good, you have, instead of, instead of pat, you have rat, awesome job. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna say three words and I want you to listen in each word for the sound that's the same. Okay, so the first word I want you to say is free. Free. Second word is three. Three. And the last word is see. See. What sound do you hear in each of those words that's the same? Okay, here are those words. Free. Three, C. What sound do you hear in each of those words that's the same? I'll give you a hint. It's the final sound in each word. Yeah, E, E. We are learning a new digraph today. This is called digraph E, E. So I'm going to code these words. And we code a digraph with what? Do you remember? Yeah, we underline digraphs. So we're going to underline our E, E. So now because we're learning a new digraph, we get a new spelling card and a new letter card. So when we see this double E, we know that this is digraph EE -E, and it makes the E sound, okay? So it makes the long E sound and we're gonna write it like this, digraph EE -E, comma E, okay? And we also get a new word wall or word card, excuse me. So. We have digraph EE, digraph e -E. it's underlined because we underline our digraphs to code them. And we're gonna remember this digraph by this picture. Do you know what this picture is a picture of? This is a sheep, sh e -p. sheep. So this picture is gonna help us remember that the digraph EE -E makes the long E sound for sheep. We also get to add a word to our word wall today. Can you try to read this word to yourself? It was in our reading lesson the other day. This word says, where, okay, where. And this is a sight word because it does not follow our rules. So we have to memorize it. So this word says, where. Can you think of a sentence with the word where in it and say it to your say it to yourself try to think of a sentence with the word where in it here's my sentence let's see i would say where can you buy muffins on a sunday where can you buy muffins on a sunday think of a sentence and try to say it to yourself or mom or dad if they're there and you can pause the video right here while you do that all right, then you can get out your worksheet 131 and put your name at the top. 
Okay, I want you to look at the box and I want you to underline all of the digraph EEs that you see. Go ahead and underline all of the digraph EEs. And once you're done with that, then you can flip your paper to the back and we'll work on that together. Find all the digraph EEs and underline them. All right, now we're on the back side. So I want you to look at the line number one. And on this line, I want you to write the two things that make the E sound. So remember, we have digraph EE, -E, and then we're going to say comma E. So we're going to write digraph EE, -E, comma E. So E, E digraph, comma E. All right, now look at number two. We're going to try to code, try to code this word before we try to read it. So is there anything in this word that we can code? Yep, I've got digraph TH, so we're going to underline that. And then also I have digraph EE, so we're going to underline that. So we have FRE, FRE, three. Can you find the number three and draw a line to it? Good, right here. Perfect. All right, all right, how about number three? Anything in this word we can code? Yep, we've got a consonant blend. TR together makes the tr sound. And we have digraph EE. -E. So tr E tree. Can you find the tree and draw a line to it? Perfect, right here. Number four. Anything in this word we can code? SH digraph. EE -E digraph. And then P is going to make its normal sound. So Let's try to read this word now. Sh, e, p, sh, e, p, sheep. Can you find the sheep and draw a line to it? Some. And last one. Anything in this word we can code? Yep, digraph e, e, and then the L will make its normal l sound. So e, l, e, l, eel. And an eel kind of looks like a worm, but it swims. And this is an eel. It has a fin on it. An eel. Awesome. All right, now I'm going to number six. Okay, so number six, I want you to write the word C. S E. We know my first sound is the S sound, and I know that S makes that sound. So I'm going to write S here. E, what makes the E sound? E does, but I have one space left, so what do you think I'm going to have to put in that last space? S, E, we know that, know that E makes the E sound, and we also know that digraph E, E makes the E sound, so we're going to put a second E here for the word C. Awesome. Okay, number seven. I want you to write the word meat. M, E, T. I have ma, it's the M sound. Ma, E, T. I have two sounds left, but I have three spaces. So what do you think goes here in the, here in the middle? Ma, E, T. I know T is going to be at the end. That's the last sound I hear. But what goes in the middle, do you think? Which two letters together make the E sound? Yeah, E and E. Perfect. Okay, number eight. I want you to write the word feet. F e t. I know f is my first sound, and that's an F. And I know t t is my last sound, and that's T. But what makes the E sound in the middle? Yeah, digraph E E. Remember, all of my letters are lowercase. Make sure you're writing all lowercase letters too. And number nine, I want you to write the word free. Fr e. Which two letters together do you think make the fr sound? F. Break it apart. F. R. F. It's probably one of them. F. R. Yeah, R. These two letters together make the fr sound. Fr e. Digraph e e again. Way to go. All right, last thing we're going to do is we're going to 
look at our high frequency word box and try to read these words. You can take them to mom or dad, brother or sister, try to read them. Make sure your name is on the front of this paper. And then you can put it aside. And now I need you to grab out the book, Three Rich Sheep, because we're going to read that together next. All right, so I want you to point to the title for me. Where is the title of our book? Yeah, it's these words up here. And we know it's the title because it's at the top of the book. And they are have um, uppercase letters to start them. So put your finger under the first word. Try to read with me as I read it to you. Ready? Three rich sheep. One, two, three. We're going to learn about these three rich sheep. All right, next page. next page, page one. Page one, put your finger under the word three. Ready, set, here we go. Three sheep chat on the green grass. See the map, chant the sheep. Oh, there's the map. Okay, page two. Put your finger on the word the. Here we go. The sheep look at the map. We can be rich, chant the sheep. What kind of a map do you think that is? Mm, think in your head. Page three. Put your finger on the word three. Three sheep go on a ship. They take the map with them. Okay, and now we're going to page four. Finger another word, the. The sheep see three trees. One, two, three. This is where we must stop, chant the sheep. There's our sight word we just learned, where. Page five, finger in the word the. The sheep check the map. They need to dig here. Probably where the X is. Number six. Put your finger in the word the. The sheep dig a deep hole. They dig up seeds and green weeds. Page seven. Finger another word where. Where is the chest? At last they see it. Oh, look what they found. Page eight. Finger another word look. Look at the three rich sheep. The end. Awesome. All right, let's all right, let's ask our questions. See if you can answer these to yourself or to mom or dad. So first question is, who finds the map? Who do you think finds the map? The three sheep do. Good. What about number two? Ready? Where do the sheep go? Where does the map tell them to go? Where do the sheep go? Yeah, they go to an island. And number, and number three. What do they find there? What do they find on the island? The treasure chest, that's right. All right, now what you can do is you are gonna go back through and you are gonna color your book realistically so that the pages have really nice illustrations on them. Okay, and then you can read this to mom or dad. Ask them to read it with you to help you. Make sure you put your name in the box back here and then you're gonna hand this in with your worksheet 131 and it's gonna come back to school. All right, good job today, guys.